Today's the day! I, I hope, I, I hope this goes well. We're, we're gonna try starting this. All right, before we get spinny thing going, let's show you where we're at with everything. So in the last video, I got the engine information system set up and hooked up, and now I've got everything running on the iPad and incredibly excited about all of this stuff. EGT, CGTs, everything's there. We've got some blinking lights and everything because the engine isn't running quite yet. But, uh, you know, if I, if I throw the boost pump, it turns on and the alternator switch, we installed that. We'll test that when we're doing things. Avionics switch, I had to move. I'm not happy about that, but we'll make some plates. But uh, found out I have a bunch of extra wire that I need to take care of. Uh, but over here, I still haven't tied anything up just in case I need to move anything around like right now. I, I realized after I put these hoses in and no grommets yet because I haven't finalized it, I realized, oh, I no longer have access to my, my oil dipstick. So uh, that's going to be fun today when we go and put oil inside of this thing. But uh, everything is hooked up. Everything has been run. Coming around down over here. I uh, ordered this with an offset arm and it's wrong, so I gotta get the right one for it. But I've got all my fuel lines done. All my hoses turned out absolutely gorgeous. Very excited about all of those and everything is appropriately hooked up. And I even made my own P leads for the magnetos to be able to turn them on and off. Can't really see those, they're hiding in the back there. But uh, yeah, that was quite the adventure. So uh, everything I think is ready to fire. And I've got Dwayne here again. And Dwayne has once over the engine and says he thinks things are ready to fire. But I mean, there's a few things that we gotta do, like you know, put oil in it, probably spin the propeller to get the oil out, make sure to prime the fuel system, you know, the, the regular stuff, right? Make sure you have oil pressure before you actually start the engine. That, that's probably a good, good idea. So we're gonna go ahead and start buttoning up that stuff really quick. And then we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna hook it up to my Suburban over here because there's no brakes hooked up yet <laughs> don't ask questions we just really need to get this fired up to see if the engine is healthy or if i need to order parts and do a teardown of this engine again anyways we're gonna get started all right Dwayne's already getting started here Dwayne, what's the first order of business uh the idea is to take all the leads off um so that it, there's no chance of ignition okay we'll pull a set of plugs out uh, so it'll take away any compression that'll allow us to hit the starter spin the engine, use the oil pump, verify we have like oil flow and pressure. Okay. And that'd be the, to me, that's the safest thing to do. We verify oil pressure. We all will have oil pressure when we run the engine and we won't have spark or compression. Yeah, and so that's a safety thing because it could always just fire up. We don't know. I mean, there's nothing been in it, but you, you don't know. And we also have to put oil in it, which is just right down here at his feet. So uh, yes, uh, I'm gonna help him out uh, get started on the other side. That is all done. So now it's time to throw some oil inside of here. Yeah, you know, I'm excited about this. This, this is gonna be something. <laughs> so that's just the first quart. This guy takes six to be at the medium level, which is where we're gonna put it. All right, six quarts in do a quick dip test on this and yeah that, that's good we're we're ready to prime this all right so here's how this is going to work Dwayne is undoing the oil line that's right there and once we're ready I'm gonna throw the master and we're just gonna push the start button so that it spins it fast enough to do what we need it to do so Dwayne are you ready yes so clear you're clear power all right master Master is on. I'm gonna come out over here and here we go. Stop. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Whoo! Perfect. So uh, yeah, I can't believe that worked, but it, <laughs> Dwayne's telling me it's, me. He's telling me it's because of this guy right here. New from SkyTech, they provided this for the airplane and we've got it all wired up obviously, but man, that can really throw the engine. That, that is awesome. I'm, I'm excited that worked. 
So next thing, uh, similar with the fuel, right? How does that work? Same thing like your normal priming the priming to start the engine. We'll just run the pump and have the mixture open longer. And we'll just listen to make sure we got fuel coming in and going through the injectors. So fuel come out here. Is that the only no, indicator? fuel come oh. out at the bottom. But you'll, oh, fuel uh, come you'll out hear, down here. It'll, yeah, it'll you'll, just like fall or something? Yeah, and you'll hear it atomize in the injectors and then it'll run down the induction tubes and then out the bottom of the uh, throttle body. Okay, cool, well, well, let's do that. So in order to make this work then, we've actually gotta have fuel. So I'm only gonna put fuel on one side of the tank. That's all we need to do startup testing here. But I am gonna use low lead, which is inside this one right here. It doesn't matter how hard I try. I always get fuel all over the place. Hey, you need to wash the wing anyway. That's true. Okay, so next step, we need to make the mixture full rich for this. Come over here, go master on, hey. not hit the start button. We're doing boost, right? Turn your fuel on. Oh yeah, turn the fuel on. Ugh. Going to the left. There you go. And here we go, uh, boost. Boost. It's whirling away. Should be able to hear it over here. Oh, there's the audio. I'm starting to hear it. And oh, right there, there's all the fuel. Boost off. So let's boost off. Uh, okay, our fuel system is now officially primed. Yeah, get that, get that underneath there. All right, so we've got oil taken care of, we've got fuel taken care of, so spark plugs back in mm -hmm. and hook up the leads again. And, yep. and then it's time to, out here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting really excited about this. So nothing fancy, just gonna throw this around there, get this guy hooked through here, and then what? Ah, this is, oh, I put the chalk in. Ah, oh, there you, we go. You mean you did something you were supposed to do? Hey, thanks for that. <laughs> that that'll hold it. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna hold it. All right, guys, it's time for this magical moment, and I have my Delta Zulu headset on recording everything, and it's really weird because I hear an echo as I talk, but we're gonna fire this up, and I want you guys to be able to hear me. So, here goes nothing. Let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go master switch on. Uh, the alternator we definitely want on. Mixture full rich. We're gonna hit the boost pump. That should be it. And here we go. Um, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm used to a key. Okay. I could not be happier. This, this runs, but uh, there's still opportunity for disappointment because uh, we need to do the pressure differential test on this and uh, that could say otherwise, but uh, 
very excited for that test. Uh, Dwayne was saying when, when we first got it up and going, the tail started picking up. So I'm really glad we tied it to the Suburban right there. But uh, the tail picking up with like, what, 800,000 RPM? That's... <laughs> The, the yeah, the 1200 when I went to grat when I reached for it. That, that just means this really is going to be a, a, a rocket inside of the end. So the, the name Red Rocket is becoming more and more appropriate. Okay, Dwayne, we tested that. So it's removing the spark plugs again. Yes. Okay. And they're warm. And they're gloves? hot this time. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the pressure differential test, and that uses this guy. What happens is, is we go ahead and pipe 80 PSI into the cylinder, and this will tell much how much pressure is in the cylinder itself. And that means if it's any lower than this one over here, we start to uh, need to figure out where that is all going. Is it leaking past the valve? Is it leaking past the rings? And it helps us diagnose the health of the engine and if we need to do any maintenance to it. So. We're gonna hook this up and see what happens. We'll go through the first one together, but the rest of them, we're just gonna do on our own and let you know the results. All right, so we're just gonna put this guy in here and this is gonna seal up that cylinder. So just make sure that's snug. And then we've got the pressure differential tester. We hook this guy up here and we're just gonna hook the air compressor up to this, but we gotta make sure this guy is at top dead center first for just this cylinder, so. I actually need to undo this so we can feel the pressure. So, oh, it is? Yes. Still blowing air? Yeah. Okay. That's top dead center there? for that one. Okay, so the next step then is to hold this while we put pressure into this. And guys, it might get loud when my air compressor turns on. I apologize. All right, are you holding? Holding. Holding it. All right. There we go. Master orifice. Nope, not that one. Not this one. Pressurize. There we go. There we go. So just give it a uh... There we go guys, 76. All right, air compressor came on, but uh, we're gonna do this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> we're gonna do this for the rest of the cylinder. All right guys, it's, I, I'm kind of excited. Um, everything is looking good. Per the service instructions, which we checked for Lycoming, everything on this engine is within spec. That means the engine is healthy and we can fly it. And I don't have to spend thousands of dollars to try to repair it. So guys, I could not be happier right now. And seriously, there's been so many people, so many companies that helped make this happen. I, I can't even list them. I'm gonna try to list them down inside of the description, but. First off, I just want to give a huge thank you to Avstar for providing the fuel injection system to make this work. Um, there's accessories from, here we got what, SkyTech starter down over here. We got the alternator from uh, Plane Power. Champion Aerospace has helped us with uh, the spark plugs and other items on here. Uh, th there's just so many companies that have made it happen, that have brought us to this point. I didn't even talk about the avionics over here. So. I wanna give a huge thank you again to everyone who has helped make this possible. We still have a lot of work to do. And guys, I'm gonna go ahead and make this announcement right here, right now. We have a sponsor for the propeller that is Warp Drive, and it's gonna be a four blade propeller. I will show that guys to you later, but even more exciting news than that. They have invited us to host the Red Rocket at their booth at Osh this year, 2024. So we have a huge push, a lot of stuff to be able to finish, but guys, the Red Rocket should officially be going to Osh. And that is so exciting to me. Like there's a little bit of emotion at the same time. It's been a long time coming. So I'm gonna end it there, but thanks guys for following. Please like this, share it with your friends. Well, there's still so much more work to do, but as always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.